Welcome to Equation Pal. This is a great application for kids in grades 6 and 7 that reinforces uh, the many different kinds of equations that they're expected to solve. With Equation Pal, you can do one step equations, two step equations, two step equations with the distributive property, or equations with inequalities. Um, and this is great because the student will work with the program on a step by step basis to um, figure out the answers to equations. Let's just do a simple um, two-step equation. So I click here, and you'll see this equation is n over 5 plus 0 equals 45. This equation requires two steps, but like any equation, the ultimate goal is to find the value of the variable by isolating it. To accomplish this, we need to isolate n on one side of the equation. So the first question is n by itself on one side of the equation. Clearly it is not. So I click no, and I get correct. Then the first step is to add, subtract, multiply, or divide the blank on both sides of the equation. Well, in this case, I'm going to be, uh, let's see, I'm going to be subtracting the zero on both sides of the equation. And I get zero minus zero equals zero. And 45 minus zero equals 45. And it says, great, you have completed the first step of the equation, and the new equation is n over 5 equals 45. So I'm going to start over again. To get n by itself, we must first add, subtract, multiply, divide by the reciprocal of n over 5 from both sides of the equation. I have to multiply. We should multiply by 5 because the reciprocal of n over 5 is actually 5 or 5 over 1. So I type 5 in. It says, what is n What is n over 5 um, times 5? Uh, we can cross multiply, and we get n. And what is 5 times 45? So 45 times 5, I believe, is 225. So n equals 225. So that's one example of a two-step equation. You see the students will work with uh, the program on a step-by-step basis to get the answer. Let's try one more. Let's do a two-step equation using the distributive property. So I have 9 times n minus 4 equals 153. So first we distribute the 9 to the expression in the parentheses n minus 4. So what is 9 times n? That's 9n. 9 times negative 4 is negative 36. So my new equation, as you see, is 9n plus or minus 36 equals 153. Now I do the two-step equation. So I have to isolate n on one side of the equation. Is n by itself on one side of the equation? No, it's not. First step is going to be then to add, because it's minus 36, the 36 to both sides of the equation. Negative 36 plus 36 is 0. 153 plus 36 is 189. So I've completed step 1. To get n by itself, we must then divide the 9, both sides of the equation. 9n over 9, as you see here, equals n. And 189 over 9 is 21. Click enter. So n equals 21. And so these are some of the examples of the kind of equations that students can do. If they do inequalities, sometimes they'll be expected to flip the inequality symbol, and they'll be able, they'll be expected to, uh, they'll definitely be expected to graph um, the equations as well. Anyway, this is Equation Pal, and I hope um, I hope you find it very useful. I think it's an innovative program. Nothing really like this on the internet except here on MrNestone.com.